Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to shoot with manual settings with your Pocket 2 so that you can just have a little bit more control over your footage and also it's going to make colour grading and colour correcting easier if you just want to have a bit more control over that as well. So I'm going to show you how to set manual settings and how to shoot in decent you like. So first of all, just swipe down from the top to open the menu and swipe across until you get to the pro menu and tap it to turn it on. Then you can just press any button on the Pocket 2 to go back to the original display. Then tap the top left corner and then change normal color to the cine light color. And then tap where it says auto exposure and then just tap the M to drop it into manual exposure and then you're just going to change your shutter speed to either 120th of a second if you're shooting in 60 fps or if you're shooting in 24 or 25 fps you'd set it to 150th of a second and then for your iso just try and keep that as low as possible so start off with 100 and see where you're at at this point your footage is probably going to be overexposed if you're outdoors so one of the things that you're going to need are ND filters whether you use variable NDs or individual NDs is completely up to you but if it's a cloudy day and the sun's going in and out of the clouds then variable NDs are great because you can just dial in your exposure as and when you need to if you're doing a lot of quick shooting if you've got a little bit more time then you can use individual NDs if you prefer to use individual NDs One of the things to look out for to know if you're underexposed or overexposed is in the top left corner you'll see the M for manual settings and next to it there are a couple of numbers which will either have a minus or a plus next to it. You just want to make sure that that number, that's your EV meter, you just want to make sure that that number is zero or as close to zero as possible. Then once you've done that just tap the top left corner again and then you're going to set your white balance. So tap the white balance and then you'll see the menu and just tap M to put it into manual white balance. And as a general tip, if you're outdoors, daylight is generally anything between 54,000 Kelvin and 57,000 Kelvin. Um, but yeah, once you've set your white balance, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so your Pocket 2 set up to shoot in manual. So the first thing is to tap the three dots in the bottom left hand corner that's going to open up your menu and then just toggle pro mode on. Then once you've done that go down to where it says colour and just tap on that and change it from normal to the cine like. Then just tap anywhere on the screen to get rid of that menu. And then where you've got a camera and it says auto above the camera just tap on that and then you're going to switch from auto to manual so just tap the m and then in here you're going to change your shutter speed and your iso so first with the shutter speed if you're shooting in 60 fps you want to change to 120th of a second and if you're shooting in 24 or 25 fps you want to set it to 150th of a second then just make sure that your ISO is as low as possible. At this point, your footage is gonna be blown out, so you'll actually want to now put on an ND filter, and you can use a variable ND or a individual ND, but just basically tweak your exposure with your ND filter. And you can see the histogram here on the screen. You wanna just make sure that the histogram isn't too far to the right so that it's touching the right hand side. So you wanna just bring it back away from the histogram so that it's not making your footage overexposed. Then once you've done that, just click on the three dots again and open up the menu, then tap on white balance and switch it from auto to custom, and then just dial in your white balance. So as a tip, white balance uh, for daytime is usually between 54,000 and 57,000 Kelvin. So just eyeball it and just toggle the slider. Um, but once you've done that, that's essentially it. That's all you have to do for your manual exposure settings. So 
So a couple of tips when you do shoot in D-Cine like, you want to make sure that you're shooting, um, your, your white balance is set as accurate as possible so that you don't have much manipulation to do when you come to editing the footage. And then also make sure that you're not overexposing the footage because your highlights are just going to get blown out and you won't be able to recover them. So yeah, just try and get your white balance as spot on as possible as you can in the pocket too and try not to overexpose um, or underexpose. So in the next video I'm going to show you how to colour correct and colour grade the decent light footage so hit the bell and subscribe to be notified if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful, I'll see you on the next one.